for war mode. Okay, yeah, all right, I'm not gonna read, that's just stupid. Okay, PvP vendors, water Oh, somebody made a, a post about me. Where's the post about me? Oh, it's not all, what, they deleted it? I, I commented on the, old, on the post about me. Oh, these are the old forums. Man, I always forget about this. Okay, all right, yeah, no wonder people weren't that mad. Let me look over here, WoW community. Okay, uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, this is another post made about me, because obviously any time that I do anything, uh, people are upset about it. Let's see if I can find what I, what my comment was. Okay, Asmon, let's see, one of three matches, here we go. Why Asmon Gold quitting means almost nothing. There's an orm besides that. Why Asmon, almost, Asmon Gold quitting means more than you think. It, like, I'm not even quitting. Like, this is exactly what I said. I'm not quitting, relax, dude. Your character has more hair on his chin than you do on your head. Okay. Like, people make these whole threads about me quitting the game whenever I'm not even quitting the game. Like... Got it? Roast my armory, Dad. Okay, let's look. Let's look at this guy's armory. Uh, Australian from Moonguard. L okay, this is this is an easy one. This is a layup, boys. Item level 107. W w what, what is there to roast? We spend more time leveling and less time transmogging. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen because he's a fucking Moonguard player, but that's okay. Let's see. They, these people get so irrationally mad about me, it's actually funny. To be honest, I don't give a rap behind what he does. It doesn't affect me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, th these are so fucking mad. This guy only has one forum post, so I'm pretty sure you wouldn't miss him anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't even post on the forums. I never... I can't post on the forums because every single time that I do, I get reported. Like, any time I post anywhere on the forums, I get reported and I get another suspension. And I'm on my last suspension. And uh, I don't want to get reported again. And uh, why? Okay, so... Someone said, how are you going to celebrate Autism Awareness Day? And I responded by, I celebrate Autism Awareness Day every Tuesday because that's whenever I run LFR. Blizzard decided that wasn't as funny as I thought it was. And I got a vacation for that one. Um, then someone said, what is the most hated race? And people like trolls and you know, orcs. And I said something else, and that was another uh, vacation. Uh, and then one time, whenever the Project 60 stuff came around, no, it wasn't wasn't like that. Um, it, it was it was it wasn't really bad. It was just like kind of funny. Like I, I thought it was funny at least. Um, anyway, whenever the Project 60 stuff happened, everybody was going crazy about it. And I made a comment on the Moonguard forums, and I said, we run Moonguard now. And the, they deleted my comment. They deleted it because they just didn't want to fucking deal with it. They were like, you know what? This guy is coming in here, starting more motherfucking drama, more fucking trouble, and we just don't want to deal with him at all. Now, I, I don't really know, like, what the whole context of this is. I just read the title, and that was about it. Uh, let, let's see. The, the way that I look at it, right, is like... Why, why me quitting hypothetically in a situation that I'm actually not quitting in? Why it matters is because it's like a mining canary. Like if I'm quitting the game, right? If somebody like me is quitting the game, I'm not quitting, but if somebody like me is quitting the game, well then that kind of indicates that like they're alienating longtime players that are really invested in the game. It's not about like me or anything like that. It's about like what it represents. And I think that at the point where like you start alienating those long-term players, you know, it turns out to be bad. I, I definitely say that. Um, do you even English? Hardly. Uh, what is this here? Definitely searching yourself on the forums? Well, yeah, yeah, I'll Google myself pretty regularly. Uh, absolutely, I want to I want to know what people are saying about me. Yeah, what, what is that, like, narcissistic? Yeah, I mean, I'm at, all right, all right, all right, tell, tell me this, tell me this. If people were talking about you all the fucking time, wouldn't you Google yourself to see what they're saying? Like, don't fucking act like you're better than me. You would do that every goddamn day. Yeah, of course you would. Of course you fucking would. Don't even lie to yourself. You would do it all the time. And uh, yeah, of course. It, it's funny for me to read these comments. 
Uh, let's see here. Flagging is not the replacement for downvotes. See, the reason, like, I really think that the... I don't know what Blizzard can do about the forums. I think they've done a better job with the forums now. Speedrun shouldn't be rewarded. Like, their public profile is hidden? Wait, so I have to... Uh, do I have to, like, go and search them? From here? Like, wait, you, you can't search people's profiles? Is that actually true? So they can hide their armory. There's no way. Is that... No, there's no way. Uh, l let me check. Um... How do I spell Nazareth? Um, armory. But show somebody else. Oh, because it's a different guy. Let me see if I can do it. So it was a warlock, right? Did they actually make it to where you can't search people's armories? Okay, it's a human warlock. Wow. Search for his guild? Is that how you have to do it? Let me see if I can do it that way. Uh, I'm actually curious here. Uh, blog articles, wait, what, view all 29 results. It should be a guild, right? No, I, I guess it's not. Um, oh, I'm, am I looking at EU Armory? Huh? Okay, uh, all right, US. Okay, US Balanet, okay. Let's see if I can find this here. All right, so if I search this guy's name, we got him, boys. We got him, boys. Swift Hearthing? The fuck is Swift Hearthing? No, of course you don't like speedruns, because you're too slow. Like, uh, of course. A and, like, people people get mad. People get mad about me, like, looking up other people's armories to make fun of them whenever they say something stupid on the forums. I don't think it's a bad... I don't think it's bad at all. Here's why. It's because if somebody's talking about how bad Mythic Plus is or how much they don't like something, and then you look at what they're doing, and they have no experience in it at all, their opinion really doesn't fucking matter. So if I, if I have somebody who's like got a bunch of opinions about Mythic Plus and about how it should work, and then I look and they don't have any gear, they suck, well then why would you take what they're saying seriously at all? You wouldn't. Yeah, they have no credibility. They have, they have, there's no... Like, there's nothing for them to like... I, like, if I have to explain this, I, I don't know what to say. Like, it, I, I, I'm having a hard time explaining anything, obviously, today. But if I can't explain this, you don't understand on what to say. Okay. Uh, everyone just don't... Why would they uh, have gear if they don't like to do it? Because there's other methods in the game of getting gear. Like, there's there's other methods. They, they don't do those methods either. And the odds are that the fact is they're probably bad players. You know, like, 90% of the time, they're bad players. And, like, that. that's basically the way that I feel, right? Look at his Raider IO. He did a plus two shrine in 58 minutes. What? What? Look, let's at least say this. He practices what he preaches. Seven. Well, hey, I mean, at least he completed it, right? I mean, how about that? Yeah, he practices what he preaches. I think it's okay. Uh, yeah, he's in the top one million players in the world. Uh, I don't play WoW, what's the average time? 
um like 20 minutes and, and and it goes all the way up so like if you don't play wow let me explain this okay so imagine you're on the first level of mario you know where there's the block and then the three blocks and then the goomba and then the mushroom right and let's say it takes you 45 minutes to get through that level this is basically the same thing all right uh, he did it yesterday he did it yesterday really where does it say that Oh, 119, 2019. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show right here, but it's me recent Mythic Quest runs and it says 119, 2019. You people like this. Like, you don't even, you, you haven't played the game enough to understand and have an opinion about it, right? It's the same as, like, whenever I play Path of Exile, I really don't like the fact that I lose experience whenever I die. I don't enjoy that element of the game. But I don't say the game should change, because I'm not a hardcore player for the game in the same way that other people are. So, uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't like it. It's not fun for me, and I lose interest. Just because the game doesn't necessarily cater to every single thing that I don't like, or that I like, doesn't mean that the game has to change for me. That's the difference. Just stop dying playing a pretty dead server. Top 328 for his class. Well, how many are there? 329? Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying, man? Like, of course I'm going to make fun of somebody. If they, if they come out, preach his video on gear. What is this? Oh, this is the video. The people are talking about it. Okay. So people are just mad. Toxic, nasty community will kill what's left of WoW. What is toxic here? Having taken a short break from WoW, log in to any activity of the day, level cap, and everything, absolutely everything has become toxic. Log on to a Mythic Quest dungeon, people hurling abuse, swearing, rage talking, talking down people even after a single wipe. Even when there are no wipes or even deaths, the talking down, spiteful remarks remain. Do an island, people all run off doing their own thing. How's that toxic? How did this start? Activision. I, I think that the top, like, I mean, yeah, wild community can be toxic in a certain way, but like, whenever people don't want to play with you because you're shitty, that doesn't mean that it's toxic, right? I mean, come on. I, I, am I wrong here? Like, I don't, yeah, it just seems like it's a little bit of a uh, of a stretch to me, man. Maybe I'm wrong there. Uh, everything I, yeah, everything I don't like, it toxic. Um, it, it's just, it's sad to see... I don't know, man. Oh, I know who this is! Falrin! This guy tweets at me! I know who this guy is! Holy shit, okay. MDI crowdfunding idea down the line. I think it'd be cool to have pendants with the competing team logos on it to help fund the prize pools. Teams like Method, Gosu Crew, these are toys. Please don't change a hefty sum and please make it at least 60% of the cut goes to the prize pools. Look at this. This is a this is a, a relatively positive, good post made. I just want to make sure this is clear. These are this is one of my viewers. This is one see this is one of my viewers. Give, give him a heart. See? People say the Asmongold community is toxic. My community is the only community that's sitting on the forums giving out ideas to make the game better. Meanwhile, the other communities are sitting around complaining that the game's toxic. I, I mean, really. Like, the... the the people that watch my stream are the people that love WoW the most. Like, there are people that, that watch my stream, they don't even play WoW. Like, I, am I playing WoW right now? Like, what am I even doing? Wait, where'd my chest go? Oh, okay. We, got, we gotta go get the chest. But listen, what I'm trying to say, right? What I'm trying to say is that imagine watching a stream 
where basically all of it is just like random running around, playing a meta game of like collecting items and watching videos and talking about the game and you know being it's like I'm, I'm not necessarily positive about the game but I care about the game I love WoW yeah I do I always will okay like, it, it doesn't matter it, there will never there's nothing Blizzard cannot take away from me the wonderful experience that I had in the first like five or six years or maybe eight years playing this game like nobody can take that away from me and there are so many more people in my chat right now that have had that same experience and I think one of the reasons why my stream resonates with people in that way is because they they see in me what they saw in themselves what they used to have and it fucking matters people think it's just irrelevant or it just doesn't it's stupid or whatever no, it doesn't. Like, if if you if you never had that happen, it's hard to explain. But, like, let me see if I can find any more people that are, like, uh, my stream viewers. Because I recognize a lot of names from chat. Um, let's see. Um, Azuna Yaki. This is a mage, isn't it? No, I, I, I think, I thought it was a mage. This is a guy I played with, he had the same name. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, looks like there's not really a whole lot of a- Oh, Yethesen! Yethesen's made an update. Okay, wait, what's this? To address some of the issues related to the auction house, we're reconsidering how to deposit the refundable fees uh, you pay to, to list your auctions or calculate the fees based on names, enterprise price, and profession materials, and in particular, vendors offer very low prices, the massive very low deposit costs. Deposits are substantially uh, less on items such as BOE, uncommon gear, gems, and so forth, but not trade seal materials, trade goods, and cloth, and ore, and leather, etc. One thing we've identified as particularly troublesome is a large volume of trade seal materials being auctioned off in stacks of one. Some add-ons make proposing quantities of this size trivial to do, resulting in dozens, if not hundreds, of pages of auctions of a single item. As we've always looked at ways to change this behavior and improve overall auction house experience, we found it that we prefer to avoid inflexible situations such as caps in the number of listings players can make or increase minimum stack counts which might interfere with the player's opinion or option or ability to, uh, or eventually I'll get it right, uh, which may interfere with the player's common gameplay habits. Our current plan is to increase the deposit costs during the production materials on a per-stack basis which is provide an incentive for players to post items in larger stacks. Here's an example. Wait, this is August? Okay. All right. Let me make sure that I, I don't miss any more of these. I think I'm pretty much done. You know, Gilden UI permission. Yikes. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, look, the point I'm trying to make here, right, is that a lot of the uh, the comments and the posts and everything like this. And why does LFR drop gear? That's a good question. Pathfinder, the nine billion dollar mistake. There are consequences of not listening to the customer. Now, here's a, here's a way to tell a retard. Is if they put things in italics or bolts. Just stupid. Like, every time. They're just stupid. E every time. Pathfinder is a classic example of what happens when a company does not listen to its paying customers. Think of Sears. Or, or Blizzard, a quick calculation of their losses from removing flight and putting it in the much hated Pathfinder. Note this is an estimate, not an exact number. 10 million subscriptions lost times $15. There's 9 billion. Wait, what the fuck? There's no way. There's no way this is a troll. This has got to be a fucking troll. Am I going to have to find this guy? There's no fucking way. This guy's got to be trolling. Uh, just a second. Let me go find the uh, the armory here. Um, okay, uh, I'll, I'll search this guy and find him. Uh, it's a shaman. Okay. 373 item level. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's... 
Wow. Oh man, it's a known troll? Okay, well, you know what? Keep fighting good fight, I'm proud of you. Uh, if I was Blizzard, I would probably just ban people that make posts like that because they just make people mad. But, you know, they can do what they want. Uh, I, I don't know, like to me, a lot of these, uh, these comments and everything are just pretty fucking stupid.